Mac at Night on Y100. Nicole Scherzian from the Pussycat Dolls, hanging out. And how's the tour going? It's going pretty good. We're just a couple shows into it. Welcome to my humble abode yeah, on the road, can, by the way. Can we do like an MTV Cribs type of thing real quick? Yeah. Can we do that? Do you mind? We could do Let's, an MTV Cribs on the okay, so, so this is uh, this is the love couch. This is the love, <laughs> the honey wagon leather couch. The honey wagon. Okay, so that's about that. Um, <laughs> Well, like, what do you do like when you're, you know, when you want to unwind? I mean, it's only what the third day in the tour. <laughs> yeah, but I'm used to I'm used to being on the bus all the time. So I love it being on the bus because it's really your only kind of your own space away from home. And I listen to music. I crank up the music real loud. We have a good system. We got plasma screen TVs everywhere. You gotta get a picture look. of the plasma. So we have a lot of fun movies and a lot of really good comedies to keep us laughing. Do uh, to relax on the bus. I mean, everybody has their thing. Like I drink, like when I'm off the air, I drink some tea. Not drink. No, <laughs> that totally came out all wrong. <laughs> um, no, but uh, you know, I'll drink tea like beforehand and just to chill. Whatever. I like to have tea. Um, one of my secrets is at night after stage, like if I'm chilling on the bus, I love having like yogurt. And I love having like I have Twizzlers around. You'll you see say Twizzlers. yogurt and Twizzlers like it's a bad thing. Like nobody eats. No, because I eat them like the whole king size bag in one. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> so um, I I like to have Twizzlers and candy to relax with, and I just just um, talk on the phone, catch up with my loved ones, and just listen to music. I just and I like to sleep on the bus. I don't get to sleep much on the road, so I take advantage of sleeping on the bus. Well, you to sleep. What's one of the things like you know? What's one of the bad things about being on tour? I mean, because you get all these, you get all these cool things like you know. I'm, I'm sure you get sponsorships for things. You get money while you're on tour, you know. But like, I mean, that's what I heard. <laughs> that's what I heard. I don't know. <laughs> but you know, uh, like, what's one of the bad parts about being on tour? I mean, because you get to have things with you. I mean, you can take things with you, right? Yeah. I mean, I it's think a mobile that home basically. Being, it is. It's a. a it's like. A, Really luxurious mobile home. Really luxurious, so, yeah. Um, I guess probably the only bad thing about being on a tour is that you're away from your family and your loved ones. But to be honest with you, we were in Europe for the past couple of months touring, and it feels so good to be back home in the U.S. Because it's like for me, I have my own bus back here, my own space. Right. I'm not too far away from home, and in every city, I get to visit my family because I have family in every city. It seems like in the U.S. And um, I have my books back there, you know, if I want to like read and uh, like some my music. So it just feels good to be home because you could be like, ooh, do I want to go to Walmart tonight? <laughs> you or, go to Walmart? Oh my gosh, that's like me and the girls' highlight <laughs> of our tour is when we have our annual Walmart trip. We gotta, we gotta have like a Walmart night. We'll get together. And you, we'll can go find, out. you can find anything at Walmart. <laughs> super, you gotta go to the super Walmart where oh, you can yeah. buy groceries yeah. and lingerie. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know if you buy it. No, well, I don't know saying. about Walmart. That's kinda, you know. Walmart should sell our lingerie. They, they should, which yeah. I saw. Congratulations. It's picked up by BB, right? Yeah. Okay. Do uh, two girl groups. A lot of boy groups to break up. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's one of the things that, I mean, I'm not saying that, like, you know, we've recently seen Danny Kane break up. Okay. What's, like, one of the things that you guys do to strengthen that relationship between everybody? You wow. guys just all hang out all the time? You guys, you know what, I think is it like a sisterhood? Really, it is like a sisterhood. And you know what? In every group, there are our roles, and I think it's just about knowing what your role is within the group, being honored to do that, and giving support to the other roles as well, and uh, to be a team player. And um, it's not easy. <laughs> it's definitely not easy being in a group, but we are a sisterhood. We definitely give each other space. I'm, I'm kind of a loner. I like to just work a lot. The okay. girls know, like when we get together, we all goof around and laugh, and uh, we have a good time. I think communication and laughter is is key to that. So it's other much than like that, a it's a lot, of, a lot of prayers, a lot of meditation, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of tea, hanging out, you know, yeah. a lot of Walmart trips. Um, you know, I heard I heard something that you were actually taken that you you have a man now. You're in a relationship. Is it true? Yes. Okay, Lewis. What is it? In Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. Okay, and he's a Formula One driver, right? Mm -hmm. Do you like watching racing? I mean, is that something? I didn't. Is it I mean, kind of boring? I didn't know what Formula One. Racing was before I met him, and now I'm fascinated by it, and I'm, it's my favorite sport. I mean, I love going to his races and supporting him, and I have a complete utter respect for what he does, what his team does, 
and it's unbelievable. Like anybody who, it's crazy because we have, it's um, our equivalent to NASCAR, so people okay. who are here. It's a European NASCAR, it, right? It's a Basically. European NASCAR, but way more hardcore. It's cool, it's, it's amazing. What's something that you guys do to kind of strengthen that long distance thing? Because I've been in long distance relationships and it's like, oh my God. You yeah, know? long distance relationships are hard. I think you just always got to keep the communication open, got to stay connected. And you know what? You I think set up webcam really, dates? I think it's, we have webcam dates occasionally. <laughs> We're so busy for that too. But I think what's key is like what, whoever's in a long distance relationship to really take that time to work on yourself because you can't really give all of you uh, in a relationship fully until you're you were at your best and you value yourself the best so that when you're with the person you can really be confident and love them fully do you know do you show people around the bus real quick because this kind of yeah. something people really don't get to see yeah it's is cool. that cool yeah okay me and my family will get to see it they don't get to see it too much either which by the way you're filipino right i'm hawaiian russian uh, hawaiian. Filipino. yeah i'm part filipino yeah, right? yeah. See? Keeping That's, it all in the family. You gotta keep it flip, baby. I'm sure we're related somehow. Wow. Uh, it's sort of this camper is really special because it moves out. So when we're driving, it's half this size, but it's like kind of like really big, like a dance floor, I think. It's cool. Um, we got our own little decor and our own little art thing going on here. Oh, Mardi Gras mask. <laughs> Paul's my driver and he designed all of this. And then we got this big old screen TV. I don't really watch a lot of TV. Actually, I don't watch any TV. I don't know any TV shows, but occasionally I will try to watch a funny movie because I love funny movies. And this is my kitchen. Um, this is your I, diet, right? Oh, <laughs> bananas. Oh yeah. And... This is my diet right here. Twizzlers. Yummy. <laughs> love Twizzlers. We got good stuff on this bus. Um, and then you have like a stove so you can make eggs and stuff in the morning. Yeah, I, you know, I just be cooking all the time. I'm just joking. <laughs> this is like the, the powder room, the guest bathroom, which is kind of crazy because on the bus, we have two two bathrooms here. And then this is... This is like bigger than my house. I'm going to let you know that. I know, right? it's crazy, right? Like, <laughs> this this um, refrigerator is huge. I'll this is like cribs. What's going on in my hair? This is my favorite. Yogurt. I love yogurt. And I always have mangoes, so I feel like I'm home. And I always got some deli meat and stuff. It's pretty, it's really exciting. No alcohol. <laughs> no booze, no booze uh, on the bus. I shouldn't be showing you guys. I should just be making stuff up so it looks like I live yeah. a really crazy life. <laughs> These are bunks for like guests if I have people come and stay on the bus with me. And then this is my suite back here. Pet, sorry. <laughs> Me, Are we, we're getting to see the bedroom? The, uh, we're going to get to see the bedroom. Yeah, me and the leopard just hanging out, you know. This is my <laughs> bedroom. The queen's bedroom right here. This is my bed. It's so comfortable. I love really high beds. My grandma had a high bed. So that's like the old school. So I like to sit down. Is that cool? He's on my butt. He's on my bed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wish number one come true. Mac at night on Y100.